Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about how shorts are now going long, how we can easily see AMC going to $10 and the 87 billion synthetics and many more. As always, technical analysis will be at the end. Now, the first thing we're going to be looking at is, of course, the shorts going long. So what we have is from Doug who talks about for what stay in whatever stock for as long as you want we are long amc at the moment so we are on the same side now we know from the past that doug is someone who's obviously always on the bearish the short side of amc have made many vocal comments about amc as well now we're seeing him posting a tweet where he talks about they are currently long amc obviously talking about virtual financials who are long amc where they're famously for shorting amc now this is already a good thing. You know, today for AMC, we closed at 7.56. We're seeing the price go up. So it's a lot of coincidence that we are seeing, you know, these hedge funds who were originally shorting AMC talking about the fact they're long AMC right now. You know, they are, of course, still hedging the positions. So whilst they may be potentially over, overall long on AMC right now, they still definitely do have short positions. But it means that the momentum, their target is that actually there is more bullish pressure for AMC. You know, we have seen the use utilization dropped down to 91 percent potentially looking at the covering of amc just in our previous video we have talked about how it's pretty much like before the last time we saw utilization go below 100 percent we saw the price reverse 100 plus percent and so now we're seeing that same thing again where we're going to be seeing the run for amc and this is already the first sign as we're seeing you know shorts who were originally extremely extremely bearish on amc talking about how they're long amc at the moment so that's obviously a very good thing you know something else to be looking at which is talking about why these shorts are covering why they're getting burnt um if you take a look at the cost of borrower average we are going up to an average of 578.26 percent so yes we are finally at that time again where the cost of borrow is going crazy and with the cost of borrow going crazy it obviously forces people to cover because it's so expensive to be holding on to these shorts bear in mind that the cost of borrow means you have to pay 500 percent so five times the price of amc just to borrow a share of amc and short against it now firstly that is obviously a crazy amount so if they are shorting it they're obviously paying a large amount but secondly ask yourself this question why would you pay five times the amount of a particular stock if there is no reason they are willing to be paying twenty dollars on a stock when it's at four dollars you know why are they willing to be paying 20 because if they don't pay this 20 for per share they will have to pay thousands and thousands for per share that's why they're willing to be paying the 20 but that's why we're also seeing you know some of the shorts already covering because it is getting expensive cost of borrow max at 856.15 percent so we're seeing a lot more in terms of improvement right now how much pressure we are applying to these hedge funds Something else to talk about why we can see AMC going to 10. So Frank Spade talking about AMC and Jamie, baby. Great to see both running at the same time. Puts more pressure on their margins. If we get more institutions buying along retail, then FOMO should push it to $10 very, very easily before shorts panic and all hell breaks loose. Just my opinion. Cheers. So we're seeing obviously both AMC and GME doing extremely well right now. And again, this is a very good thing because with two stocks who are pretty much the head of, you know, all the meme stocks that have been shorted, one being AMC, one being GME. When we see stocks like this go up, it obviously puts pressure on the short um, sellers. Bear in mind that not everyone who shorts AMC is shorting GME and not everyone who shorts GME is shorting AMC, but there are definitely hedge funds out there who are shorting both AMC and GME. And when one stock goes up, it already put pressures to them, let alone both the stock going up at the same time. So what, you know, Frank's talking about, and I totally agree with him is, firstly, we're putting pressure on their margins. Bear in mind, with their margins going down, you know, with the fact we're putting so much pressure on them, they will have to cover if it gets to the point where they can no longer handle it. That's why we're, you know, seeing some people already covering first. The second thing is that of course where we are right now at 4.41 if we see more institutions buying now along with FOMO it's very easy to get this to ten dollars last time you know when we saw this reversal of AMC we saw it go all the way up to that high of 853 and bear in mind with this time with so much has changed since you know again the start of this year it's already been half a year so if you see the buying power come now especially when it's very likely that we could see AMC go all the way to that ten dollars 
And what Frank's saying is that $10 is kind of the tipping point for when hell breaks loose. Now, I definitely think that as the price goes up, it's more, you know, weight towards us. But I do think that we need to go higher than $10 for hell to break loose. But I do believe that if we are able to get to $10, we're definitely putting so much pressure on them that it will come to the point where we will speed up the process. Obviously, the MOA is happening. Now, more on in terms of the 87 billion synthetics on AMC. Now, this is a big news that everyone is talking about today. And I'll be talking about why this links in with everything we have already covered in this video. So what we have is the QZIP should never change. However, this is a list of exchanges that are selling ADRs. They're clearly not issued by AMC per John Merrill. Uh, they have many different types of equities all over the world. I will share a screen recording of how you can search. Now, this tweet will be down in the description down below for those of you who want to go try it out for yourself. You want to obviously go find it out for yourself. Now, then a question was asked. So if 14 trillion shares of IOU slash synthetics had to be processed to get the real shares of AMC, isn't that about 28,000 times the float must trade? How long? Oh my. And I think it's 28,000 different QCIP numbers already. Insane astronomical in our future. With which James replied, there are 828,000 pages of different AMC QSIP numbers all on different exchanges. Each QSIP was made at different periods in time. Ape was issued in August of last year. Our enemy had a short and the last time I checked the outstanding share on Ape was 87 billion. Like I said, all of this will be in the description down below for you guys to go check it out. Now, why, you know, firstly, 87 billion synthetics, we're looking at 28,000 pages of different AMC QSIP numbers. So much things is happening for AMC right now. And firstly, like we talked about, this is what I'm saying. They are willing to be paying the $20 per share right now for AMC. Because if they don't, even, for example, even if they have to cover all the shares at $20 anyway, they will have to cover over 87 billion shares at $20. That's obviously not what they want. They want to obviously be covering at the lowest price possible, potentially even below a dollar, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc., etc. Right? The next thing, you know, we're talking about is how we can easily push it to $10 because when firms buying in of this, you know, they will start panicking. We will be obviously get buying power. And bear in mind, so this is why, you know, Frank's probably talking about 10 dollars is a very uh easily before she was panicked because of the fact that there is so much synthetics out there that if we are able to get the price up obviously it then puts pressure on them for example you know they're paying eight they have to pay uh four dollars 41 right now for 87 billion shares but if it goes up to ten dollars that's you know double what they have to pay at the current price as well and again the more if it goes up and goes up and goes up so obviously they are put in a lot of pressure and again you know this is why we're also seeing hedge funds right now who are long amc because they are trying to hedge out of this position if they are able to, of course, cover a bit of money, you know, I still do believe that no matter what hedge funds out there right now decide to take long on AMC, if they have synthetics on AMC, the ultimate news is they are not able to obviously profit. They are not able to make money from AMC. However, what they can do is firstly reduce the amount of losses they will suffer, but which is a double edged sword from them, and but it's very good for us is that. If they want to recover as much losses as possible by taking long positions on AMC, what they will do is actually speed up the process of the MOAS, of the squeeze of AMC. So they obviously have to balance that, but that's why we're seeing the utilization go down from 100% to 91. We're seeing, you know, hedge funds now talking about how they are long on AMC. We're looking at how we're seeing this momentum coming in. We're seeing at the cost of borrow average, we're looking at the 87 billion. So many things are on our side right now. And if you take a look at overall market, so the probability of a recession has skyrocketed to levels last seen in the 1980s. We are now at an average 62% chance of a recession by May 2024. This is where we are right now in terms of the overall market. We have a 62% chance of recession by May. Now, not to say that this is definitely going to happen, but we're going to be looking at it's definitely fear coming in. And as people fear for recession, what we're going to be seeing is, of course, stocks being sold. We're going to be seeing indexes falling. And if we do see that, what that also is, is, of course, collaterals falling for hedge funds. And then going back to what we're talking about, puts more pressure on their margins. Bear in mind, AMC going up is one way of putting pressure on their margins. 
The overall stock market going down will also put pressure on their margins as their long positions are obviously taking a tank, as their long positions are obviously suffering, and that's the pressure that we can apply on them. If we take a look at the technical analysis for AMC, you know what we're seeing right now. Like I said, we had well, if we were able to break 422 and 416, we we're going to see that momentum happening, which is obviously what we saw today. And then, like I said, if we are able to break it, our next contest is coming in at 453 and 462, which is what we got. We're closing at 441. If tomorrow and Friday we are able to get close either within the zone or above the zone, then we are in a very, very good position. Right now, we are, of course, trying to contest this 453 and 462 again. But I do believe that, you know, a lot more good things is coming for AMC right now. Anyway, thanks for watching.